for the juniors, it's more about development um, as a whole rather than just on the physical side of things. So we're going to do a lot of stuff in the classroom as well and, and developing them as a, as a whole athlete, not just a swimmer, but an athlete. Um, that, that's probably the, the biggest thing. And, and for the elite guys, it's very much about seeing where they are in comparison to where they were back in April. And, uh, and looking at how we can then you know, tailor and change things leading into, into July's specific games. I noticed that there's a psychologist session for the athletes as well. How does that, um, how will that help them? Uh, mental preparation is, is huge. Uh, it's going to be different uh, between the, the juniors, the emerging and also the elite because they're all at different stages. Uh, within you know their mental preparation, whether it be in training, whether it be in racing, whether it be just in in day to day, so they're going to spend a bit of time you know going through and and just developing some of those skills because you know it's just as important you know having the mental side of it is and, and particularly with a few of the boys that came over for the uh, Pacific Games, uh, racing up against people like you know, Michael Phelps from Mike Lochte, you know, and even you know, the, the Australian team there as well. It, it's quite tough when you come into that kind of environment for the first time. So. Hopefully we can uh, we can learn from that and uh, and work on what what's going to be next with with, uh, with the Pacific Games and also the World Championships over in Russia. And can I just finally get your thoughts on the coaching? What do you think of the coaching uh, staff here for the Pacific Games? Oh, unreal! Uh, it's been it's been great, and uh, and the the Fiji Sports Commission has put a lot of time and effort and are looking at developing uh, the educational process. So for the long term, leading into the Pacific Games, but also through to Rio as well. So there's a long term development plan for coaches and the, the enthusiasm is just fantastic. You know, we had 36 last, last April do the, the water safety and go through the, the Swim Australia teacher qualification. Uh, and now we've got 20 uh, that are going through and, and doing the uh, Swim Australia Teacher of Competitive Swimming. So looking at that next step on, in developing their coaching side. So it's not just the experience, they're actually getting the formal qualifications to, to make it up.